Hey, Barry, thanks very much. Well, good evening to you. In our news tonight, we've got the latest from Franklin County. There is growing dissatisfaction among residents there with the decision to build a new state prison in their backyard, a decision they say they never saw coming. Channel 7's M. Allen spent the day in Franklin County and reports from there tonight. This is the site of where the new 3,000 bed prison will be. And today I spoke to local residents who say they are concerned with what's to come. Ten days after the Arkansas Board of Corrections voted to approve a 3,000 bed prison in Franklin County, residents continue to speak out. We feel like we just weren't um, given due process in this situation. Um, Governor Sanders decided she wanted to do this and she did not take into account how anyone here felt or or what we thought. Shannon Sosby McChristian and her son Jonathan Tedford were both born and raised in Franklin County, right near where the prison will soon be built. They described that piece of land as their home, a sanctuary. One of their many concerns is that the quiet, peaceful land that gets dark after sunset will never be that dark again due to the lights that are bound to be installed to light the prison. My dad is a local rancher. He spent his entire life putting together a ranch piece by piece on that mountain. And this prison's going to be built right in the middle of it. Um, he, he borders it on one side. My son, Jonathan, borders it on the other side. Um, It'll never be dark on that prison again. Both say they choose to live in Franklin County for the quiet, simple life the rural community offers, but they fear that will soon come to an end. It's no secret Franklin County is mainly a Republican state. Most of the people that are dealing with this now voted Governor Sanders into this position and were happy about it. But when something like this happens and, and people are coming to us like, well, that's what you voted for, it's like, well, no, we didn't. This is not what we voted for. We thought somebody was going to represent us and, and somebody would give us a voice. A new group has been formed in response to the passage of the prison called the Franklin County and River Valley Coalition. Joey McCutcheon, who serves as legal counsel for the group, sent Channel 7 News a statement saying in part, quote, we will explore every aspect of the land transaction for this massive prison complex dumped in laps of the people of Franklin County and the River Valley. The absolute lack of transparency and openness while doing the people's business is unacceptable. We will be evaluating any Freedom of Information Act violations as well as any and all legal and legislative remedies. Now, there's still no word as to when this construction will start at the new prison, but we'll be sure to stay on top of this story. On your side in Franklin County, I'm Emma Allen. Okay, Emma, thanks so much. Now, one member of the Board of Corrections abstained from voting for that new prison, saying that the project should have been subject to greater public discussion. Governor Sanders has said the prison will represent a substantial investment in Franklin County and create hundreds of high-paying jobs.